Hi, welcome back to the next part of the tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be um, trying to uh, make it so that the cursor disappears and that we have a pause menu so that we can, um, and a quit button, so that we can actually quit out of the game anytime. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're just going to get straight to it. So uh, good luck. So let's get started with making this quit button. So if you uh, go into the game scene and open that up, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to need a button on this game manager. So if you right click on the game manager and go to UI and choose button from the drop down, um, if I can find it. Um, I'm going to go into 2D view right now and just uh, move this button off to one side for now so that we can just test it easily. So I'm just going to drop it off to the side, uh, make it a little bit bigger and just set the um, anchor off to the top left hand side. Uh, that way it'll uh, stay in that corner even when the res resolutions are different. I'm going to call this um, a quit button as well so I can find it and I'm just going to change the text on it on the underneath and I'll just call that quit. Uh, we're going to have an issue here when we do this because we're going to accidentally hit it now and again so we're going to in the next bit we're going to um, make the mouse pointer go away and switch it on and off when we're paused. So we've got this bit started. So um, the game manager has a script on it that we're going to use. So if you um, just open up that game manager script and go straight into it, we're going to create a, a couple of functions in here that's going to allow us to uh, do the quitting um, as we need to. So currently all the game manager does is instantiate the player. Um, but now we have the button, we're going to need a couple extra things. So I'm going to make a, a public function that's going to be attached to the button. So we're going to call this uh, void return type and we're just going to call it um, quit. Oh. Control Z to do that. So quit. So we've got um, public void quit. And all this is going to do is uh, it's going to leave the room. So um, we're going to use photon network dot leave um, leave room having trouble spelling, so leave room. Uh, that could take some time depending on a few things and it has it does have a callback when you're left the room. So this is another override and we have got the mono behavior pun callbacks up here so we can use all the overrides. So the override we're looking for is um, on left room. So on uh, left room you'll see that override and uh, all we're going to do is load up the menu level. So um, again, we need to do this uh, through the Photon Network, so that it's not just on client side. And there is a Photon Network load level. And we're just going to pass in the index of the menu, which is uh, zero. So it's the very, very, very first one. So in theory, um, once we hook this button up, it should work. If I jump back to Unity right now and um, click on the button, you'll see we can go down to the on click, hit plus, drag the game manager into there and add the from the game manager there was a quit function and um, that should be able to jump backwards and forwards. So if I save this and um, just go back to the um, lobby scene and hit play, we should be able to join. Um, we should be able to just join this game. So this takes us into the room and we can wander around and shoot and we should be able to click quit in order to go back. Uh, in theory because we've just left the room we're still connected so we don't connect again we, we get this little warning we should really check to see if we're um, if we're connected before we we try to connect it's an easy one an easy fix but um, in theory this still works so we're able to go backwards and forwards. So let's just do that last little thing because it does make sense. So in the network manager we need to be sure that we're not currently connected and um, before we try to connect again so uh, it's just another if statement and if we use the uh, photon network again a uh, photon network that is connected so um, if we're uh, not connected then we should try to connect so that will uh, fix that And so the last thing I really want to fix is the uh, cursor. So at the moment the cursor doesn't get locked when you uh, play and it's 
frustratingly wandering around on the screen. So we're just going to get stuck into fixing that. So we'll do that within the game manager. There's a couple of things we're going to do. We basically want to get a handle to the um, make a public game object and call this the pause canvas. So we're going to enable and disable the button effectively based on whether we're paused or not. So um, I'll need a handle to that and I'm also going to um, I'll make it public. I'm going to also make a, a boolean variable whether we're paused or not and uh, we're going to initialize that to false. Um, the next step would be just to toggle that with um, within the update. So uh, a nice simple if input dot get key down um, and we're looking for the key code of escape. So if we uh, exclaim escape. So if we hit the escape key, we just want to toggle that paused state. So we'll just the easiest way is just say paused equals not paused. Um, and that will toggle it. Now, um, when I was just uh, practicing this, um, I figured the easiest way to do this was to, um, we're going to have to do quite a few things. So rather than repeat code that we have to do inside of start and then inside of update, I'm going to make a function. Um, I'm just going to make a little private function and we'll call this um, set paused. Um, and that way we can do a few things um, in order to uh, be enter and exit that paused state based on this, this value, this paused value up here. So we're going to call it up here. So we're going to say set paused um, there. And we're also going to call it only um, after we toggle the state. So um, again, just uh, the set paused function uh, method that we've just created. Now there's a few things we need to do. We need to um, set the canvas. Um, we need to uh, set the cursor lock and we need to um, we need to also set the cursor visible. Um, so uh, we'll get started on those. The uh, for the canvas we call the canvas or we attach that pause canvas and we'll just use set active to do that. So we're gonna set set active to um, the same state as pause. So um, it takes a little bit for me to get my head around this. Um, when we're paused that means that we want to see the canvas. So paused when we're playing is going to be false so we don't want to see the canvas um, um, I might need to test this to make sure I've got them right the next stage is the uh, lock state so um, we want to lock that cursor so you say cursor dot lock state equals and then the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to use um, this uh, method, the question mark method with C sharp, this allows me to just toggle between one thing or another. So um, depending on this this value, whether this is true or false, um, if it's true, it'll do the first thing before the colon, and if it's false, it'll do the thing after the colon. So uh, the first thing that we want, um, if we're paused, we want to have um, the cursor lock mode to be none. So if we're uh, got it there. Um, if we and the opposite of that is the cursor lock mode dot locked, so we want to lock that. So uh, yeah, I think that's the correct way around. And lastly, the cursor visibility. So um, cursor dot um, visible is equal to paused. Okay, doc. Um, so I may have one of these the wrong way around. Um, we'll just have to give it a quick test and see. Oh, yeah, before we before we do test that, um, I need to get that hooked up because we've got an object that we're switching on and off. So if I go to the um, game scene right now, we've got this game manager, and inside of that uh, game manager, we need this pause canvas attached. So um, we just um, drag this canvas onto there and that should do that. So make sure that that's done. Um, the game manager needs to know which canvas it's actually gonna switch on and off. So um, we should 
be able um, to save that scene, go back to the lobby, try and run it and just make sure that this works. So if you hit play, you should cursor should disappear, um, you can move around, you can't see the cursor and it's locked in the middle and if I press escape the cursor becomes visible again and um, I can move it around and um, I can click on the button if I want to. If I press escape again, I should um, it should go invisible. Um, inside the editor it's a bit weird because um, it does work but you have to click on it again to sort of gain focus again and then, it, and then it'll work. So uh, yeah that's that's basically it. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the series. I'm going to post some of this on GitHub so check the description inside of YouTube and um, you have a link to the uh, finished code for um, this tutorial because we're going to go on to um, some more complicated stuff with um, some models in the next one.